Hey Mike, why does high speed sync reduce my overall flash power? Well, let's go back and understand what high speed sync actually does. We know our camera's sync speed is roughly one two hundredth of a second. When your shutter speed is faster than one two hundredth of a second, your full camera's sensor is never fully visible. Instead, only part of the sensor is ever fully visible because the shutter curtains are sliding down together. So you can imagine if a flash goes off while the shutter is opening like this, only part of the frame will be illuminated by that flash. That's why we need high speed sync. In high speed sync mode, your flash is pulsing on and off multiple times during one exposure. How many times it pulses depends on your shutter speed because it needs to evenly expose every slice of the sensor. Now, since your flash is pulsing on and off multiple times, it needs to lower the overall flash power in order to recycle and reflash so many times. You've probably experienced this where most flashes on full power take about one second to recharge before they can flash again. And one second is quite a long time compared to a shutter speed of one four thousandth. So instead, when we use high speed sync, the flash automatically reduces its overall flash power in order to be able to pulse on and off. That's why your flash might say it's on full power, but in high speed sync, we typically lose about two stops of light. So really it's only at one quarter power. This is really technical stuff, but it explains why you don't get as much power out of your flash using high speed sync.